All right, my dual sport motorcycle friends, I'm gonna show you another way to be able to record your Sina headset comm system to your GoPro and how you can also add additional battery to get those longer record times. Now you may have seen my previous video where I had a second comm system with a zoom recorder inside this box and I was storing it inside my tank bag. So my last trip, I really needed every single space that I needed since we were camping out the bikes and I really needed to utilize this for space. The route that I'm gonna show you will eliminate the need for having the second comm and there's benefits to going to this route. If you wanna check out the video that I'm referring to, I'll put the link down below in the description or up in this video. And let's jump in and I'll show you what I've got going on here. To begin with, you're gonna go ahead and you'll Install your Sina just like normal. You can still run the headphones inside the helmet. But what we're gonna do is you're gonna add a splitter. So you're gonna do a 3.5 millimeter TRS uh, splitter. And from there, what you're gonna do is you'll plug into the aux. Now, not all Sinas are alike. This one is the 20S Evo model. And there's a few handful of them out there that are just like this and you can basically do the same thing. So run the splitter, then off the splitter, we're gonna go to a set of headphones. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Uh, I just picked these up. They're just some cheap JVCs. They do the job. Um, in fact, I actually hear more um, of what's going on on the comms than actually hearing what's on the headphones. So it is, it is kind of nice having these. But then on the other hand, uh, you do have headphones in your helmet, which can be kind of rather annoying to some. But this is the easiest solution to be able to get audio into our GoPro for recording purposes. So then off the splitter, we're going to run our audio to the other side. And this is the GoPro Hero 8. And you're going to need to use their audio adapter. This is going to give you the 3.5 millimeter in as well as it's going to give you USB power to be able to power this from a power source. You're also going to need to get a new battery door that allows you to get access to the USB. There's a couple of things that you're going to need to do and just remember to do these settings is when you have the GoPro off and you have the power plugged in, it's not going to default to the line input. So what you're gonna to need to do is turn the GoPro on first, then you'll plug in the power, and then the GoPro should then recognize the line input. You may need to do this in an initial setup to, you know, you power this on, plug this in, then go to your audio um, output settings, and then you'll go and select the line input. From there on out, it should always do it, but just remember if you power this off and you have this still plugged in, then you go to power it back on with this still plugged in. It's not gonna recognize the audio. So you're gonna need to unplug this, plug it back in. Now the huge benefits, even though this is kind of sounds like a pain in the butt, you're gonna be able to get long recording times. I'm using a, a USB power bank. This is a believe an 11,000 milli, milliamp or a 10,000 milliamp. According, if I did the math right and everything, the GoPro actually uses a thousand milliamps an hour. So in theory, this is gonna give me roughly 10 to 11 hours of recording. I've already done a huge five day motorcycle trip with it. I've had zero issues. In fact, um, for two of the days we rode straight, I still have like three bars left out of the four bars on there. So this is gonna give you an incredible amount of time for power on the GoPro. And then your biggest limitation is just gonna be your um, memory card inside. So you wanna probably upgrade your memory cards. I ended up doing 256 gigabytes, um, rolling at 4K at 60. And what you're gonna need next is this uses a USB-C connection. You're gonna need to get a USB-C to USB type uh, B, I think it is. Um, but anyway, it's a, it's a standard USB and we'll plug that in. Now you might be thinking, that looks skeptical, I ride really hard or whatnot. Velcro, if you get the right one, this is pretty strong. 
Um, again, I've, I've done a huge trip already off-road and had zero issues with this coming off. And this will stay. As long as you do the right Velcro and you mount it securely in a good flat position, you're going to have no problems. There has been other times instead of having this mounted to my helmet, I was wearing a backpack and I just dropped this into the backpack. But that does cause areas for room for air that this could get unplugged or something can get tugged. So this is really where I found the best benefit. One thing that you should note is the USB power bank will not charge the GoPro while it's recording. When you have it in the off position or standby, you can see that it has the light for it charging. So during your downtime, it's kind of nice. It'll charge up your GoPro, but it will not charge it while recording. Now let me show you how to get into the settings so we can turn the voice on for the Cena. And again, you're gonna hear yourself, but that's how it's gonna go out on the splitter and then we'll be able to get the audio of your voice plus everybody else's recorded onto the GoPro's video audio track. All right, so you'll wanna download the Cena utility app. We'll go ahead and open that up. Next, you'll need to power on your Cena. Mine, you hold the jog button while holding down the phone button, and then it gets into the power mode, and then we go back to the app. You'll wanna make sure that your phone is already paired with the app before we do this, by the way. So. Now we're gonna go into basic settings and we're gonna scroll down and you'll see side tone. We need to make sure that that is selected in order for our voice to be able to go back through and you're gonna hear that slight echo. And that's it, pretty easy. And then for the times that you're not gonna be doing any recording and wanna go back to normal, you just deselect that side tone and you're all set to go. Well, I'm gonna show you some sample footage of what this sounds like. And if you have any questions or wanna know more, feel free to ask away in the comments down below and be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. And I'll see you on the next tip. This reminds me of coming down off of Sepp's Point. Oh yeah. Yeah, right? There's a little less gravel, but a bunch of washboard. My bag still on there good? It is. I'm yeah, it's Kevin's so water bottle. <laughs> it's, his is attached though. It's, it's latched on? Yeah. Okay. Just flopping around. Seth, you're like leaning. Yours is crisscross. I know. It, it wants to like sit sideways. And it wants to keep walking forward. It just wants to be close to you, Seth. <laughs> it does. The beer's in there. <laughs> yeah, they're calling. They're calling <laughs> Drink me! Drink me! Drink me, Daddy! <laughs>